2009 has been a year of record-breaking achievements for Europe in space, with two European astronauts in orbit and seven satellites launched. Three of these satellites are part of the European Space Agency's Earth Explorer missions. GOCHE, launched in March, is the most advanced gravity space mission to date. With state-of-the-art technology on board, GOCHE has already started mapping the Earth's gravity field with unprecedented accuracy, providing insight into ocean dynamics, volcanism and earthquakes. It will give us a better understanding of the climate changes affecting our planet. ESA's soil moisture and ocean salinity mission, SMOS, was launched in November. It will provide further studies of ocean circulation patterns and help us better predict our climate. And as SMOS soared skyward, it had a smaller companion attached to it. Prover 2, the second in ESA's series of small satellites that are being used to validate new spacecraft technologies, carries scientific instruments to observe the sun and conduct research into space weather. By increasing our knowledge of the atmosphere, the biosphere and the Earth's interior, ESA's Earth observation missions are also helping us understand the impact that human activity is having on our planet. We can then refine our strategies to fight climate change and its effects on millions of people around the world. But as important as looking into the future is looking back to the dawn of time. Herschel, ESA's Infrared Space Observatory, and Planck, ESA's mission to investigate the origins of the universe, were launched in May on an Ariane 5 and are now on their final orbits. Herschel carries the largest, most powerful infrared telescope ever flown in space. Planck is the first European space observatory to study the relic radiation from the Big Bang, a time machine that takes today's astronomers towards the beginning of space and time as we know it now. 2009 has also been an important year for ESA's comet chaser Rosetta. On the 13th of November, on its way to comet churumyov gerasimenko Rosetta did its third and last Earth swing-by. It captured the lights of North American cities at night and spectacular views of South America and Antarctica. Glimpses of a living planet that one day may also be seen by the newly recruited ESA astronauts. A new generation of European explorers prepared and willing to take Europe back to the Moon, Mars and even beyond. After a complex selection process, six astronauts from Denmark, France, Germany, Italy and the UK were finally selected from more than 8,000 candidates. They are now training at Europe's Astronaut Centre in Germany. To prepare for these future manned space missions, six volunteers, two Europeans and four Russians, can find themselves into a model interplanetary spaceship for a total of 105 days. This experiment precedes a complete 520-day Mars mission simulation that will take place in 2010. This will help assess the psychological and physical effects of long-term isolation. Feelings that ESA astronaut Frank de Winner knows very well, having spent six months in the International Space Station. OASIS was ESA's second long-duration mission to the ISS. It saw the first permanent crew of six, and the Belgian astronaut became the first European to command it. Three months after Frank's arrival, in August 2009, Swedish ESA astronaut Krista Fugelsang joined the ISS team. Having participated in two spacewalks, Fugelsang returned to Earth with the first external payload from right, Europe's Mr. Columbus Laboratory. De Winner still had a few important technical and scientific tasks to complete before he could safely return home on the 1st of December 2009, in time to join in the celebrations for the 30th anniversary of Ariane's first launch, which was on the 24th of December 1979. Europe finally had the launcher it needed to develop its space programs and above all obtain its independent access to space. In 30 years, Ariane has become the reference launcher, able to deliver satellites and payloads in all space domains and applications. Ariane, a symbol of Europe and what it can achieve.